In 2020, I was able to quit my full-time job because of the money I was making for my music being used on TV shows. I say that not to flex, but to give you a better understanding of how much TV shows pay you for your music. In this video, we're gonna break down the different ways a TV show pays for music, how TV shows use music, a breakdown of my payments, and how streaming services like Netflix paid compared to cable TV. Getting your music on TV shows is more accessible than you would think, so let's simplify ways you can get paid from your music being used on TV. There's two types of ways Ways TV shows pay for your music. Upfront, which is the payment you receive upfront for licensing your track on the TV show, and back end, which is through back end royalty statements. And this is different than the four cents you make off your Spotify streaming royalties. Music royalties used for TV shows are called broadcast royalties, and the payments can vary. Majority of my revenue is through back end royalties, and every three to four months, I get a check from my performing rights organization. Imagine your music being digital property similar to a house. The more property or digital assets I create, the more money compounds over time. The money I've made up front from a TV show has been anywhere between $150 to $5,000, but the money I make each quarter for my royalty statements has went from five to 8K every three months to over 17,000 every three months within the past three years. That's just from my personal experience and majority of my TV placements are from sports placements and those reality TV shows you low key watch with your sister. There's different types of TV shows and you 100% can make more than me in both the upfront and back end side. So let's break down how TV shows use music to get a better understanding of the full potential of how much you can make from your music being used on TV. This would be a great time to pull out your pen and paper because if you can digest and grasp this breakdown, you will have a great understanding of how to maximize the amount of money you make from your music being used on TV shows. At the top of the TV show food chain, there's theme songs. These typically pay you the most and can range anywhere from 2,000 to 25,000 or more upfront. And that's not including the royalty statements that you get every time that music is used. And to let you on a little secret, theme songs are used every single episode. Next, let's break down vocals versus beats or instrumentals and how they're actually used. Without making this too complicated, there's two types of ways vocal tracks and instrumental tracks are used. Right under theme songs, the next highest paid type of tracks for TV shows are vocal tracks that are performed live where you can actually see the singer singing the song on TV. Another term for this is called a visual vocal. A visual instrumental is the same concept except they're just instrumental tracks that are performed live where you can see the band playing the song. Pretty simple, right? The last two ways music is used for TV shows is gonna be through background vocals and background instrumentals, which is just a song or beat playing in the background of a TV show without anyone performing. This is the majority of music used on TV and though it doesn't pay as much as the other options I listed, it'll still make you a lot of money. Which leads me to my next point. What are some of the factors that determine how much you get paid per track on a TV show. Let's break this down into two ways. The factors that determine the upfront payments and the factors that determine the back end payments. Starting with the upfront payment, the most common factors that determine how much you can get paid off of one track are the length of the song, the popularity of the artist, the size of the show's budget, and whether the track is a custom track created specific for the scene requested by the TV show. Some of the factors that determine how much you get paid on the back end are the duration of how long the track is being played on the scene, the popularity of the show, the type of usage, like I mentioned earlier, like a vocal track or a beat being played live, and then the network of the placement. For example, prime cable networks like NBC, CBS, and ABC pay higher than networks than let's say HDTV, OWN, or BET. Another key factor, and if you're writing notes, this is a good time to highlight or capitalize, but the popularity of the show. For example, there's a great video by John Fulford, who is a pioneer in the sync education space, who talked about one of his placements on Breaking Bad. When the show originally aired on AMC, it paid him okay because it was just a kind of popular show at the time. When it got added to Netflix though, the popularity had spread so he he mentions in the video the amount of money being made from streamed on Netflix was substantially higher, which leads me to my next and final point. How are the payments for TV compared from cable to streaming now that streaming services are getting a little bit more popular? Four or five years ago, streaming services were barely bringing in any money, if any at all. As the demand shifts for streaming services, we're seeing that number go higher and higher. The biggest factor being how popular the show is. Here's a couple of examples of some of my placements, and you can see there's a placement I got on a show by Reese. Witherspoon called Get Home Edit. As you can see, this show was pretty popular and paid me pretty well on several seconds of my music being used. Believe it or not, cable TV is still paying pretty
pretty well, but the industry is definitely shifting and hopefully four to five years from now, we can get a more clear cut answer on how realistic the back end numbers are for streaming numbers. And I didn't even mention that one track can be licensed to multiple shows, reruns of a show, or even the track being reused for a new season of a TV show. All that to say, if you put the time and you follow the steps we teach at Heat, you can easily start earning some strong side income or even a full-time stream of revenue. If you're looking for more info to how to actually get started submitting your music for TV shows, we do have a course that may or may not be open right now for enrollment depending on when you're watching this video, but don't worry. We put together a free mini tutorial breaking down how to get started in this lane. I share my past eight years of experience giving away actionable information that's easy to follow today. I go back Excalibur Zero, I'm the head of sync licensing at Heat, and we have a goal here to help 100 musicians land their first TV placement. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be sharing more resources for you to support your music career and future videos.